more snakes seem to be coming out as the temperatures climb, and snake experts say you really need to give them plenty of room to move away from you. But there are two species of snakes. Wildlife experts at the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission want you to report if you see them. We're going to give you a couple of email addresses to write down here in a few seconds, so you may want to grab a pen and paper. Fox 8's Daryl Matthews earlier this evening spoke to an expert. As the summer season approaches and it gets hotter, more and more people spend time in the sun, and experts say you're not alone. As it warms up, snakes come out of brumation, which is just reptile hibernation, and they come up just to warm out or warm up and just start eating. And the hotter it gets, these cold-blooded reptiles tend to be seen more near cool, dark, and damp spaces, like under these rocks near water. See them basking out in the sun on a decently warm day, sitting on top of a rock or out beside the river looking for fish coming by. Todd Sweeney, the founder of Snake Conservation and Live Education, aims to teach people about the misunderstanding of snakes and strengthen the relationship between the uninformed and reptiles. He says years of working around heavy equipment and dirt became a path to a new passion. Every time I'd find one, I just got more and more fascinated with it and it just turned into a hobby and then turned into a lifestyle after that. A lifestyle that taught him about the snake species experts say to steer clear of, like the threatened pine snake. They wouldn't be out here in the triad, they'd be further in the sand hills. And rattlesnakes like the eastern diamondback, timber, and the pygmy, all of which are protected by the state's Endangered Species Act because of the shrinking number still living. If they're ever seen is asked that they're reported, the sightings are reported to the Wildlife Resource Commission. But the best advice to follow this summer while you hike, bike, or hang in your backyard? Let them be. They're, no, they're not intruding on anything. If anything, you're intruding on them and their territory. All right, now we have a couple of email addresses to share with you that you may want to write down, and they're really easy. If you see a pine snake, send an email to pine snake, all one word, at NC Wildlife, all one word, dot O-R-G. And if you spot one of the rattlesnakes, send an email to rattlesnake, all one word, at ncwildlife.org. And both emails include pictures, the date and time, as well as a GPS location.